Last night's earthquake off the coast of Chile caused widespread damage and created a significant tsunami. It is a reminder that the big waves can be more dangerous than the quake itself. The magnitude 8.2 quake sent waves over six feet slamming into the South American coast. Scientists in the United States fear the greatest threat of a tsunami here could come from a relatively unknown fault off the northern Pacific coast. They say it has the potential to cause massive destruction. John Blackstone looks at the race to protect people from seismic disasters. There was no warning 10 years ago when the Indian Ocean tsunami killed some 230,000 people. By 2011, when a devastating tsunami struck Japan, a warning system was in place, but it came too late for too many. Anywhere you are close to the water, you have to be concerned. In Seattle, Vasily Titov leads a team of scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They're developing a faster, more accurate way to warn communities of approaching tsunamis. Tsunami is going to happen. There's no question about it. What we want to make sure is that we do everything we can to reduce the impact. Their project has taken on a sense of urgency because of what's called the Cascadia Fault System. Sitting about 100 miles offshore, it runs from northern California to Vancouver. Scientists now believe it's capable of a magnitude 9 earthquake. On the San Andreas Fault, we're waiting for the big one. On the Cascadia Fault, we're waiting for the really big one. That's a very good way to put it. Looking at this recording, video recordings in Japan, you may picture what may happen in our coastlines. So this is what floats on the surface here? That's right. This is the buoy, just like the one that's off the coast of uh, Oregon. Craig Meinig helped design the revolutionary sensor that deploys with a buoy, then sinks to sit near the fault on the ocean floor. We have less than 20 minutes in order to detect a signal and send the alarms off to the communities under threat. That's what we're steering towards, this new technology. When an earthquake strikes, the sensor can tell if it triggers a tsunami and sends a signal to the buoy, which transmits it to a satellite, then back to the tsunami warning center. Researchers will be able to calculate how high the wall of water will be and how far it could travel. With the new systems now, we're hoping to buy ourselves a little bit in time that can get the warning out quickly and to evacuate those communities under threat. Two prototypes of the new sensors are now on the ocean floor off the coast of Oregon. An earthquake nearby earlier this month demonstrated they work as planned. Where will be hit hard by the Cascadia tsunami? Well, the, the, the coastal communities on the Pacific coast will be destroyed. 50 years ago this month, there was no warning when a massive magnitude 9.2 earthquake hit Alaska, generating a tsunami that wiped out much of Crescent City, California. How long until we will have the technology, the software, the forecasting that allows you to say we're comfortable? That's a tough question. Um, I can tell you that we do have technology to produce very accurate and, and timely forecast. The science is there. Implementing the science into operations, it's a huge task. It is also an expensive task, but in the last decade, the world has learned how much a tsunami can cost in lost lives and property. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Seattle.